Hello. If you're anything like me, you always have your cell phone or mobile device close by. I'm always taking pictures. So I wanted to show you something that you could do with all those pictures that is not as hard as you may think. So I'm going to go into my iPhoto and I have already taken the pictures from my phone and imported them into iPhoto. You can do this both with the actual cable or uh, you can see over here I've actually done some photo streaming with my newer iPhone and it brings it right in without any connection needed. So I'm going to be making an album of pictures that were taken at school for an event that I did bring your child to work day. And you can see I've got some kind of wacky pictures here and they are um, from a bunch of different categories of things that I'll sort of explain. In the same event, you can see I have some personal things here, but I'm going to be selecting just what I need for this one presentation. And I'll show you how you can put in text and make it look professional. So I want to capture or select the pictures that I'd like to put into this slideshow presentation. You can see this picture right here is already selected. It's just one because of the yellow outline around it. So if I click on a picture, that one is actually selected at a time. Again, the yellow box around it. In order to select several at a time, I'm going to use my pointer and move off the picture into this gray space. I'm going to click hold and you can see that as I'm dragging my mouse across and down in diagonal position and then go down to the very bottom, it selects all the pictures that I've kind of hovered over. And I know that these, because I've looked at these ahead, uh, are the ones that I want to include in this slideshow. So I'm going to release my finger and now all of these are selected. So now that I have the pictures that I'd like to use for this slideshow, right within iPhoto, um, I can go down to the bottom and you'll see these icons here that allow you to do some fun things with the pictures. One of them is to create something. So I'm going to click on create and it gives me several options here. Uh, these items at the top, um, album would be more like to look through something on the computer screen again through a technical device. A book will tell you, give you a format to drop the pictures in to make an actual book that you send away for. My daughter did this for a friend of hers who was moving away. You can insert your text uh, right in with the pictures that are right here. I know there's other companies out there that do the same thing, but I don't think many people know that iPhoto has it right here and it's, it's really at your fingertips and very easy to use and the product is beautiful. Cards, calendars, today we're doing a slideshow, so I'm going to click on that. It will automatically take my pictures that I've selected and bring them into a slideshow. And here it's showing you the line across of the pictures that we have. Uh, you're able to move them if you'd like, and then it gives you a bigger shot of the actual uh, picture that you're on. It builds in for you a cover that you can use that goes right over the actual first picture. It gives you a text box that you can then go ahead, click in, and change. So this was our Bring Your Child to Work Day. To work. And I'm going to put that that was, whoops, I have an error, so I'll go back and fix that. And this was in, I'm going to just say spring uh, 2014 and I'll click off of that. There's many ways to make things fancy, fancier than you may like. Uh, the settings, I believe, will help you with the text, the eyes, color, etc. if you want to. I'm gonna show you some pretty basic stuff so you don't get lost. Um, I can go through and notice it gives me my title right on top of the first picture, and then as I go through the pictures, I can add some captions to what's going on here. So this is Mrs. Turner. So I'm going to add at the bottom, you see T here for text slide, and it gives me a subtitle. So I'm gonna add that this was one of our speakers. This was Mrs. Turner. So now that I go through my pictures, I want to think about what I might want to explain to the viewer. Depending on the audience, we'll definitely determine what kind of wording you give. As you can see, I have these what I call wacky pictures. We took those because one of the crafts that we did was this. We took students' pictures, 
We cut them out for them, and then the craft was for them to play in grass seed. Our Bring Your Child to Work Day was very close to Earth Day this year, so we thought this would be kind of fun. But I think I should label this, so I'm going to go back and add craft time. So here I have the pictures that hopefully they can tell were the faces that we were going to put the grass on top of. Um, I went ahead and I added some additional little notes about how these explaining some of the things that were happening that day, um, some of the people that were a part of our day, and um, let's see, I ended it with us up on the roof, which our school is right near New York City and overlooks the skyline. It was really beautiful. So the ending is thank you to all. So now I've pretty much got it where I want to go. Now comes the slideshow tricks and fun parts. Again, we're going to go down to the bottom right corner and we're done doing the text slides, adding comments, etc. So they give you some themes. If you click on the theme button, they're going to give you some ways to transition your actual slideshow from one picture to another. Again, if you use PowerPoint or Keynote, you can change each transition specifically, but this one is just an overall for whatever you like. I like that when you put your mouse over it, it gives you a little bit of a, a picture ahead of what that's going to look like. So just for this one, um, I think I'm going to do, um, this is professional, so I don't want to be scrap show. I'm going to do this sliding panels that I like. So I choose this one, click choose, and it's going to apply for me. And let's see, I can add some other bells and whistles. Down in the next to themes, I could add music. If I click on music, it brings me right into my actual iTunes account. And maybe you know already about what kind of music you'd like. Um, I have to think for a minute what I'd like to put in here. Oh, I know. Uh, there's a good song I just added by Coldplay. It's this one. So I'm going to choose that one and custom playlist for slideshow. I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to leave that for now. And again, there's settings. When I click on settings, it's going to ask you about the actual slides and how long you want each of them to play. So you can set them to stay on each slide for a certain amount of seconds. Typically three is about the right timing for most slideshows um, and presentations. The uh, other option is to actually take and make the slides fit to the length of the song that you chose. So this is really just up to you. The background color here, you can see at the bottom is black. We could change that to white. Uh, I'm better with black, so I'm changing it to that way. I'm gonna leave the other things as they go and close this box. Now, I'm ready to see what it looks like. So if I preview it, it's gonna stay within this. Oops, framework of seeing all of iPhoto here. I really want to just play it so it'll change to full screen for you. This is what it would look like for people to really see the movie. It's got about 4.5 seconds per slide. You can see that's maybe a little long, but everybody's different. Good. Now we're into the last two steps that after you've created your video. So at the bottom we want to now export this video and it's going to export as a movie. We need to tell it what size. I typically do medium or large and then click export. You've got to tell it where you want it to go. I'm going to choose this and go down to kids to work day, the folder, so I know that that's in that same belongings and tell it to okay to go. This is where it'll take some time and you just need to be patient to have it um, go ahead and export. So go ahead and with that bar, go all the way across, go get a drink, go get some popcorn. And here I have my movie that is finished. When it was done, it automatically brought it up into iTunes. And here it is, new, ready to go. I could watch this uh, with someone uh, through a, a smart board, projector, uh, airplay if they have that. You could also burn it to a CD, 
and give it out that way. So that's how you'd make a movie using just iPhoto that you most likely already have. Thanks for watching.